Now in the civil 3D, we will see featured line. So if I am drawing some line using line command and we can just uh, switch on the ortho mode and I am just drawing the line. So this is like line and also like I am just going for polyline and uh, it is asking first start point and then end point. So like this I have created one polyline. Okay, now this line and then this polyline, we can call it as 2D lines. So this is just like a 2D line. Uh, like this, we can able to just uh, use feature line over here. This feature line is something like a 3D object or 3D lines. Okay, if you want to like input some grades to the particular line, we can able to input. So like this, we can able to create our feature lines. So if you want to make this uh, normal 2D lines or 2D object to feature line, we can just go for create feature line from objects. So this option also we can able to use. So now first we will start with the create feature line from objects. So I'm just clicking that. Now it is asking for select a line or polyline or object. So I'm just selecting this polyline and I'm just going for enter. So once you put enter, then the create feature line uh, dialog box will be open where you can able to like uh, give a new name for the site. By default, it is coming as site one. And then you can just click the name and you can name the feature line. So by default, it will be coming as feature one, feature two like that. Okay, if you want style, you can just go for style and you can able to select this much style. So by default, it is like a basic. So basic feature line style we have and also the layer. So if you want to change the layer, you can just go for use current layer or a selected entity layer or you can able to choose from here. If you want to create a new layer and new name, you can able to modify here and you can click OK. And we also have conversion options like uh, we have erase existing entities, which means after creating feature line, the existing entity, it will be erased. Otherwise, if you are not putting it, it will be there below the feature line. So the normal polyline also will be there. The feature line also will be there. If you want, you can just uncheck. Otherwise, you can just go for checking it. And uh, now we can just go for assign elevations also. So if you are putting assign elevation, then you can able to input your elevations when you are creating a feature line itself. So weed points. So we also have weed points over here. This might be useful if you are drawing a, a big uh, feature line which might be having lots of points. So when lots of points and vertices uh, available in the feature line, if you are putting weed points, then it will try to reduce the points as much it can. Because you know, in between two points, we can able to have multiple vertices. So weeding out those vertices, if you want, you can just go for weed point. It will reduce the number of vertices in your feature line. Now I'm just clicking uh, OK. Anyway, now I am just creating a small feature line, so no need for weed points. Now I'm just going for clicking OK. See, once you click OK, assign elevation window will be open because we have selected it. Where you can able to uh, input your own elevation. Otherwise, if you have any like uh, previous surface, you can able to take from the surface itself. Now we don't have any surface in this diagram. So in this drawing, we don't have any surface, so it won't be visible. Now I'm just going for elevation. So elevation, I'm just going to put uh, some uh, 1.5 meter. So click OK. See, once you click OK, it becomes like a feature line. So before it is like polyline, now it becomes feature line, right? So now once you're clicking it, like uh, in top uh, window in this ribbon, we can able to see the green window. Normally, 
like it won't be available if you select any object or anything then the green window will be available on the top ribbon so where you can able to go for editing the elevations and everything so this kind of things we have so for example if you want to edit the elevation right so it is already switched on so if it is switched on we will be having elevation editor over here otherwise if you are switching off see we don't have so we can switch on it and we can just go for elevation editor so in this elevation editor we can able to input our elevations so we have four points right one two three four so for that only we have here like a station elevation length everything we also can able to input grade or hate grade back everything okay here for example i am selecting the first one see so first one we can able to see the triangle this is our first point so the next one so the second one the triangle shifting to the second point and the third point the fourth point and then again the fifth point so like this we have this closed feature line right and all together are having 1.5 meter elevation if you want to change the elevation all together you can just go here so before that how much you want all together if you want like a 2 meter you can just click it and then you can able to put a 2 meter okay now what we can do means you can use this up arrow or down arrow okay low incrementally raise incrementally for example i am just putting up so all together it become 3.5 and see here it is only selected na that's why you should uh, go for this so this is like unselect all rows okay now it will be selecting everything then we can directly uh, go for now i am just going for undo now i am just putting this up arrow see now all together we have 3.5 so that's why if you are selecting something like this Uh, then you should uh, go back to this icon so that it will select again the all rows okay now we can just go for up arrow again 5.5 if you want to put down arrow 3.5 all together we are getting the result if you want to edit only one point you can select it and you can able to put some value over it there so 5 meter i'm putting so like this manually also we can able to input see this is like having first so the same point will be acting for the final also na so it is like changing 5 and 5 so i'm just undo it now these options we have in this elevation editor okay now i'm just going to put the some grade over here for example i'm just going to put 10 percentage so 10 percentage grade see automatically like for the next point it is like choosing so if you want to change something you can change so for the third point i'm just going to put 8 percentage now based on that we are getting the grades if you want to change also you can change for example this one i am just going to put again like a minus 5 so like this you can able to go for a grade also for your feature lines so like this we can able to make changes and if you want to put some elevation point you can insert if you want to delete you can delete so for example i am just going here and then i am just inputting here see now this is like a new station with a new elevation point because we also have grading you know so i am just clicking okay see now we can able to see that point here right and if you want to delete that point you can just go for delete that delete that point you can select here and you can just go for deleting it okay 
and we also have reverse the direction if you're putting reverse the direction see all together the grading and everything it's changing so that is what reversing the direction and it also like uh, like uh, change the elevations accordingly so we also have show grade breaks only and we can just go for this one so once you done everything we can just go for this icon over here and we have some options here so select a feature line parcel line or a survey figure or uh, if you want you can just go for zoom to and this one for quick profile and this one for raising or lowering see from here you can able to click it and you can able to mention the value over here so this option we have in this window now i'm clicking uh, okay okay now i can uh, show you how it looks like now because of the grading we are we, we are having this kind of like undulations okay but in top view it won't be visible but if you are putting in a front view or something like that we can able to see the like undulations that is what grading so this one like a feature line using object so we can also create our own feature line so for that i'm just taking a create feature line where you can able to take the site and you can name it and you can choose the style you want but now we can't able to select anything here conversion options we don't have because we are going to create so there is no conversion option for that so click okay and it is asking for starting point and then it is asking for elevation i'm just going to put a 2 now it is asking for next point and it is asking for grade grade i'm just putting 0 enter now the next point and enter no grading i am just uh, inputting as it is so next point so no grading zero and then we can close it okay like this we have created feature line so we can able to go for property and we can able to edit its style so normally this create feature line and then create feature line from objects only we will be using a Uh, most of the cases in the civil 3d platform so now if you create feature line and after once you selecting the feature line uh, this window will be appear right so in this we can able to go for edit geometry where you can able to go for insert uh, new vertex for example we can able to insert a new vertex so click like this and then put enter so it will accept and if you want to delete something we can able to delete and then escape it will go again if you are clicking so this options we can use we can able to make use this for breaking so i'm just uh, selecting it and then so this kind of break we can able to go for our feature line and this is for trimming so if you have some line over here and if you want to trim it you can able to trim so i'm just going for trim so cutting edges so like this we can able to trim and again i'm just selecting if you want to join you can just click uh, this one 
and then for example if i'm just having see line from here so o snap we can switch on like o snap and where you can just uh, select uh, endpoint only click ok see now i am just going for l and then i am just drawing a line joining this now if you want to join just to go for joining so join so select this but this is not like a feature line right so it won't uh, accept it so we should make this also like a feature line so i am just going for from objects so click ok and then click ok now we have feature line now i'm just clicking it and i'm just going for join and select this line also now you put enter now all became one entity now we have a close to feature line right so like this we can able to make use of this edit geometry tools over here in the top ribbon and uh, reverse we we already seen so it will reverse everything and we have edit curve so if you want to edit curve or something you can able to go for now if you want fillet you can just go for fillet and it is asking for radius right i am just putting 10 meter but uh, might be huge now so that's why it is not coming so fillet and uh, we can able to put what kind of fillet you want like that see we have fillet over here and we also have fit curve specify point or point options based on that we will be getting a fit curve okay tolerance we can able to put and minimum number of segments we can able to put and click ok so that is for fit and this is for smoothing see now it became smooth now we also having weed points see it will remove unnecessary point from feature line so i'm just clicking it and we can just go for select a feature line i'm just selecting uh, this one and it is asking for weeding factors you can able to input your weeding factors and you click ok so now we don't have any like uh, weeding points so zero of eight vertices will be weeded so based on the entries here we will be getting the result now click ok and we also have create the feature line from a step to offset and this insert point and then delete elevation point we already seen in the elevation editor itself and we have quick elevation edit edit elevation all this we can able to do in elevation editor itself so this is what we have so like this we can able to modify our feature line in the civil 3d